Hi guys, I'm Di Hua and today is B Day. Now B Day is Build Day. Alright, so as shown in the last video, you have seen that I am going to build a all new full carbon fiber road bike and the components are from AliExpress. So refer to the previous video where I did a detailed breakdown of all the costs as well as the detailed specifications of each of these components used and why I chose them. And today, before I start building, let me quickly just run it through with you the components that I'm going to use, starting with the frame. Now for the frame, we have Seraph that is from Tantan Tan Cycling and this is a aero frame and the model is TTX34. Now I got a really nice customized chameleon blue color here that fades from blue to black and really lovely paint job done. Next is the group set. I have got the L2RX 2x12 speed. So it is Chinese made hydraulic group set for road bike and it's got a carbon fiber materials used on it as well. For crankset, I've got the Semic PR2. It comes with a combat trimming of 5034. For the cassette, I've got the Sunshine 12 speed cassette and it is 1132T. A pair of these brake rotos here from III Pro. Victoria Corsa Pro tires. 700 by 28C. Right now, TBU inner tube. Cactus bottom bracket. Ceramic bearing. Balugo carbon fiber water bottle cage. Mix 70 carbon fiber saddle. Jack wire cable housing. Brenner's bar tape but matching color. Shimano 105 SPD SL clipless paddle. Finally, the wheel set Elite H 50mm deep carbon fiber wheel set. Okay, all ready and set up for the build. Let's start! Make it look easy.
Well. All right, we are done with the building. Look at this. -da -da. Wow, it's looking really, really beautiful. I'm amazed by this final look of the bike. Putting everything together, it actually looked really, really amazing. Now, uh, throughout the whole build, I uh, was expecting like some hiccups here and there, but surprisingly, it was really smooth. Um, you know, there wasn't big issue. In fact, I don't find any defects or anything that is damaged or bad about this frame. So it all happened quite smoothly. The only thing that I expected would be taking a longer time or more tedious would be routing the internal cables. The only constriction point that we had was on the handlebar. So routing internal cables on uh, integrated handlebar is always difficult. I've done that many times before and always, always difficult and troublesome. But uh, I just thought that if they can widen the holes insert here, they widen it a little bit more, then it will be a lot easier for us to actually push the cable housings in, especially now that I'm using mechanical shifting and hydraulic brake. So two on each side that I have to route in. Well, if there's any real hiccup, Perhaps it's just really my uh, my mistake. I mean, I overlooked the fact that I have to leave some room for the shift cable housing because what I did was for the first time when I have routed it and I just leave barely enough room of the cable housing here. And once I put on the derailleur and start adjusting it, I realized that the cable housing wasn't long enough. And as a result, the shifting was really restricted by the length of the cable housing. Well, that is a painful mistake to learn because the only way out was to reroute the shifter cable housing. So I have to change the housing to a longer one. So other than the frame, we are also installing a new group set here, which is the L2RX. This is the first time that I install an L2RX group set. And the interesting thing is, it was punchy at first when uh, after you install the brake, you feel that when you squeeze the brake levers, it's kind of spongy. 
and uh, you may think that it is because of uh, you need to bleed it again after you install it but it's not really that because they all come pre-bleed and all you need to do is just install it right so the trick actually is to adjust the there is a adjustment screw here which you can tighten it and hence lower the brake travel so when you decrease the brake travel what you're doing is really to bring the brake pads closer the gap of the brake pads closer so you have a more firm brake yeah so that is the trick and now i'm really excited because this bike looks awesome and can you guess what is the weight now we did a measurement before putting the pedal so i have the whole weight of this bike without pedal as well as with pedal so just make a guess Seven point six six kg. So the weight with pedal is seven point nine seven. Okay, so this is the end of today's build. I hope you like it. I really like it. I enjoy the process of building this bike, the Sera frame, and the L two group set elite wheels. All these awesome components put into one become this one beautiful bike and i am eager to go out and test it out but before i go i will leave you with the hub sound test now if you have any questions about any of the components that we have used in this video do let us know uh, put your questions in the comment box we'll try to answer you as much as we can okay and let us know whether you think this is beautiful you know give me your comments on this result of this build. Here you go, this is the hub sound test. I've got a surprise guest here. Now this is really, really a surprise. Okay, it's not planned. And let's welcome Palita! <laughs> Hi guys, I am Palita from Victorious and very nice that I have a chance to be here. What do you have today? Well, I've just finished a build. Uh, it's my new bike. It's all carbon fiber new bike. And incidentally, we have chosen the Victoria Corsa Pro tire for this build. We have actually heard a lot good things about the Corsa Pro. I mean, they are getting good results in major race. So yes. The pro racers are winning and all that. And you know, now it's also available to us as normal cyclists. And yeah, there are a lot of technology we read through. So can you tell us a bit more about this from the, I mean, from Victoria themselves? <laughs> okay, so maybe I start with about what, who, who are Victoria? Yes, okay. We are the only bicycle tire brand that dedicates only about the tire for bicycle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have uh, our own factory. Mm. We have our own lab. Before we have a lunch tire, mm. we're not thinking about the performance, the feelings. Mm. It make become this one. Oh. Yeah. So now Victoria are able to only one who can make the carbon tire with the new technologies, new productions. It's called electrical curlings mm. that you can see right now. It's a 100 seamless of the thread and casing become one. Yeah. It's improved a lot of the lowering resistance. We put extra layer PRB. So you have 14% extra puncture resistance. Mm. So this one is the another layer of the top competition bicycle tie right. in the industry, I would say. Okay. So, I mean, as a, as a mechanic, when I was installing this tire onto the wheel set, it is surprisingly easy to fit Spin onto in. the wheel, even though this tire is a tubeless tire, because usually I will have difficult time fitting tubeless tire. They are so steep and hard, but this, the Victoria Corsa Pro, is a breeze. That is uh, one of the things that we include that when we innovating, mm. because right now the tubeless version is becoming more and more you see in the market. Right. It's become more easier because of the our technologies mm. the base we improve a lot mm. we add a stylon that helping you to easily set up and also to have a better air retention okay yeah yeah this is something that i really appreciate i think cyclists would appreciate because most of us 
do not have a pro team of mechanics behind to support us and yeah. usually we have to use you know we have to do this on our own and this is something is a really great features for us yes. yeah so if you want to have the quest experience not only the writings have a very good supponents better loading list and and have very good keep very reliable on Cause up what is the best shy for you? Okay. Feel what the profile. <laughs> ah, feel what the profile definitely. Yeah. Okay. So finally, one last question: Are there any new lines up that is uh, coming? <laughs> I think my of you already have seen some leaking. Um, yeah. There, I would say next year we coming the fastest. 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 Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a, that's a big. That's a really big claim. Okay. Fastest. Yeah. Right. I would like you guys to. Follow us to see the very new, very good tire coming the next year. And it's for road bike? Time tire. If time you time. want speed, look forward. Okay, so I have to build a time trial bike <laughs> next before I can enjoy it. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank nice you to see coming. you. Yeah, thank you very and much. very good try for your bike. Look yes, thank perfect. You. Thank okay, you. now I'm ready for the ride. <laughs> uh, you want to join us? Let's, Let's go. go. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs>